Good evening. Um, we're going to start off with these prezi, um, presentations. Uh, I found this on the web. It's actually a great way of doing presentations. It's better than PowerPoint, in my opinion. It brings the presentations to life, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, but we're going to go ahead and start off by starting here. Um, you go to prezi.com, create a user and password name, just like anything else. Once you hit the main page, you're going to click on New Prezi. You can create a title. So we'll call this the Prezi Presentation. Um, and just to give you a heads up, this is saved on the cloud. So this means that anybody who has a password login can view this. Now to keep it private, we'll show you how to do that. You have to actually pay for that. So once we create the title and the description, we'll move on to the next uh, page here. Uh, this uses Adobe uh, Flash. Um, if you've ever used Flash before, it's a lot more dynamic. It looks a lot more professional. So once you go here, you can choose templates already built here. And it gives you different options of how to do this. So we're going to start with a blank canvas. Start by editing here. See it's in the grid mode. Every time you exit it, it'll automatically save it. You can print it. You can go to help. You can start an online presentation. So once you've done editing this, you just click that to make it public. You can invite other people to edit it. It's almost like Google Docs. It's all done in the cloud, so you can invite as many people as you like. So here, starting off, we'll start by describing this. You can insert. Insert images, PowerPoint slides, YouTube slides, um, different um, diagrams and shapes, and files, PDF files. So let's go to the next one here. Um, you can create different frames. It has the open bracket, the circle, the closed uh, rectangle here, and you can also do hidden frames. And then, of course, creating the path, which uh, creates the behavior of the presentation. And here we're off to the colors. Um, you can change different colors. Here we have uh, Hangul, Korean, Vietnamese. Uh, you can create and change the background here. So, for example, if you want to do a bite, uh, the midnight theme, you can do the fresh. We're going to stick with the fresh for this presentation. Let me go back to the original theme. If you want to modify it even more, you go here. Now, remember, this is all free and open. Now, if you wanted to create your own logo and personalize this just a little bit more, you'd have to click here to upgrade it. And as you can see, when you upgrade it, you actually have to pay for more of the services here. So depending on how much you actually like, easy presentation, uh, sorry about that, um, you can actually pay um, $59 or $159 in upgraded. Um, now you can see how much more space you have with this. 2 gigabytes, create your own logo, you get the supreme premium support, and then you use the preview desktop. So you can actually do it offline. Let's go back over here to our original. Go here next. You can actually change the different colors here. Now what this is actually doing is changing the presentation of it, the CSS of this um, Adobe Flash here. So for the body we want, for example, we'll change the color to this. And you see how it automatically changes that. Now for the title, for the second title, we'll see how it changes the color of the different titles. So these are the different classes of the presentation of the Adobe Flash. So for the first title we'll go ahead and say black we'll keep it black. Yeah. Now to go to manual, you can manually change this. Now to do the logo you'd have to upgrade it. Different colors here. Now and then if you wanted to manually do it, you can you can click on it and manually upgrade the CSS yourself. Okay, you can zoom in and zoom out and you go to the home page. Um, so let's double click some platforms. So we can just start off by saying welcome to uh, presentation. Okay. Now let's start by adding another frame here. Now you can just drag and drop the difference in. Start by adding a circle here. 
I noticed that we cooked the body, so that's why it's this purplish color. Okay, so what you can just do is kind of just drag your way through the canvas here. Let's insert the image here. Select the files. Let's try this one. So, you want to move the image to slightly over here. And then what you can do is you, know, you can rotate it. You can increase the size here. Okay, let's drop some frames here outside of it. Let's move over here. Let's just drop that right here, just for example. Here. Okay, and then once we create the path here, you'll actually see how it all comes together. Here. Then what we're gonna do is show another example of what else we can do here. Here's a frame. Let's increase the size of the frame. Actually let's bring it down just a lot. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and insert another image, which I think is pretty cool here. Huh? Now let's insert the YouTube video in here. Okay, so notice that we're in editing mode. If I try to play that, it wouldn't let me because you're in editing mode. Okay. Now let's play one more path over here. So let's drop it. Another frame here for the conclusion here. Okay, so I zoom out a little bit. So Here's an image of how the whole presentation looks like. Now let's create the path here. There's a second path, see how it drops right in there. There's a third path, fourth path.
We actually want to zoom in, so we'll double click it. There's the seventh path. There's the eighth path. So it's gonna zoom in to watch this video, and then it's gonna go to the video. And then there's the conclusion. So let's go ahead and watch this all together. You'll see that it's much more dynamic. So starting off with the introduction here. We just added the zero circle. Create variables in Java. Great switch statements, if else, and loops using Java. Java's great. Java's great. Moving on to this here. We'll pause it because the sound will sound really bad. And thank you. And then what you want to do is go ahead and exit it. Once you do that, it's automatically saved. And you bring it back here, and all you have to do is allow a copy. Um, and I just want to thank you for your time and watching this video. Have a great day.